Hi everybody, it's Bill from Today in Iowa. Today I'd like to show you what Kenny and I have been up to over the winter. We built a 24 inch uh, scraper blade for my 12 inch bucket. We'll be right back. Well, hi everybody. Thanks for joining me today on my new video. There was so many, so much interest on that uh, scraper blade I uh, made for the uh, uh, smaller bucket, that eight inch bucket, that I thought I'd make a new video and show you what I've done over the winter with Kenny doing a 24 inch blade. I mistakenly said in the start of that video, hey, I bought a six inch bucket. Well, I really didn't. It was an eight inch bucket and I tried to correct that in the title. So I hope that hasn't caused anybody any grief. I uh, got a lot of positive comments uh, on that scraper blade and I got a few uh, less than positive and I'd like to address those today in this video and show you why I uh, made these the way I did. Uh, so some people said, why didn't you get a ditch bucket with no teeth and basically it's a bucket. <clears throat> well, I didn't want a bucket. I just wanted something that I could put on and take off easily and scrape and backfill and take rock off the uh, top of a landscaping bed for instance and I'm finding a lot of other uses uh, for it too as I go on. Uh, I had a lot of questions on why didn't I buy a skeleton bucket? <clears throat> You've seen those online where they're ribbed and that's a good idea, but I didn't want to have to change out a bucket. Now I realize there's attachments that you can buy for a quick attach to change your buckets out quick, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. And then the uh, third uh, comment that I hear quite a bit is, well, I, the viewer could do it faster <clears throat> with a shovel and a hoe. Well, I get that. And you know, when I was 30 years old, I probably could too. But uh, now at this age, um, I don't want to, I don't have to, and I've got some shoulder issues that uh, I just don't want to do it. And this provides uh, everything I want to, very inexpensive. I made it out of scrap steel and I'm real happy with it. So uh, Kenny and I have been busy, as I said. Our new bucket is 24 inches, and we'll go through this a little more detailed so you can build one of, those, one of these for yourself. And it fits on the 12-inch bucket. Now it goes in a little bit deeper. It'd be easier if I had it on the hoe. And then these uh, bolts here, nuts and bolts, hold it onto here. And likewise, what, if I want to change from a scraping action to more aggressive, then it'll come right off. It'll come right off and then you're all ready for the next project. So let me show you how that works on the 8-inch bucket right over here. I've taken the bolts out to save us uh, some time. So this morning I was digging some trees uh, to plant. So this is a little dirtier and I usually like to keep it. But when I want to change from scraping action to digging action, there we go, then it comes off just that easy. Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit closer view now of the uh, new blade we built. Okay, so let's take a little bit closer look of the new blade that we built. I used a snow uh, plow blade again because I had a couple of those laying around. You can see the beveled edge here and here. Basically, I just make a wedge like this. I shouldn't say I, Kenny does. Kenny's an excellent welder as you can see. Put some tabs in here for strength. A Couple of ears here to attach to the bucket and a brace in the back. Then he ran a, uh, a weld along here, and really that's it. Now, I'll, I weighed this and I'll post that. I had a little bit of a concern about how much weight I could add to the bucket and not cause problems. So this one, let's go through some measurements real quick. Four inches on the face. Backside's about four and a half. As I said uh, before, 24 inches that way and it's enough gap to get between the bucket and so the teeth fit in here. Now likewise, the blade that I did last time, let's look at that. Same type of design, but it's got a lot bigger face. Now, I found this is pretty handy when I'm backfilling because that face is eight inches. 
and then the front face is about six and a quarter inches and 15 and a quarter inches wide. So they both work pretty good. Uh, a couple of viewers on a Facebook page that I uh, joined recently talked about uh, they want a real nice wide one for cleaning out ditches. So this 24 inch might be real nice for that. I don't know if a guy could not go 36 inches and we might just do that uh, if we get some time on our hands soon. That's basically the project, everybody. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can build one of these for uh, your bucket. I'm sure you can improve on it, but this is just some basic ideas that Kenny and I came, came up with uh, using some scrap steel. Uh, we probably don't have uh, a little over $100 in each one of them, so that's a big benefit, and that's a reason I like going this way, too. I like the versatility, the price point, and uh, it, it does everything I want. So, Okay, that's all I've got. Thanks so much for watching. I'd like to say hi to all my new subscribers. Thanks a lot for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time from Iowa. So long, everybody.